Have you ever been sitting around just having a really rough day and then something happens that completely flips it around? Well, today we're gonna be talking about J-Hope, AKA Hobie, I think his name is, from the band BTS and how he did something amazing today. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and I try to pull different topics from pop culture or music to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, uh, I don't know if you got the memo or not but I am not a huge K-pop fan but it's something insane going on where are just they the the fans and yesterday blackpink just broke a record for like most views on a music video like and i'm like i need to understand like what the heck is going on right so anyways i was browsing around on twitter today right before my beautiful girlfriend and i went and saw pet cemetery thinking about doing a video on that but anyways uh also follow me on twitter if you're not yet at the rewired soul and i saw this hashtag trending right and it was hashtag curious about army and i'm like <laughs> excuse me i'm a 33 year old man i don't i'm not down with all the link i'm like curious about army i like people like thinking about enlisting in the army the armed services like what's going on today so i'm sitting there i'm looking at it i'm like what the heck is going on there's just thousands and thousands of tweets of people doing uh the hashtag curious about army so i go and i do some more research and it turns out that uh jay hope from BTS actually sent out a tweet today. And it looks like it was a couple tweets, um, but the next one, the second one, after the hashtag curious about army said, I have read all comments. I will show you a great show soon after I practice combo choreography today. Good night, my Amy. I don't know, I don't know. I'm using, I'm using the translate feature on here. But holy crap, like I'm looking at this and as this hashtag was trending, like here's some of the tweets that I saw, all right? So Hosiak, and I, I apologize. I apologize if I mispronounce these names. Like, let me learn a little bit and I'll figure it out. Let me know if I'm saying it wrong down in the comments. But anyways, it says, Hosiak uh, went online just to ask how our day was. We don't deserve him. He is too good for us. Uh, hashtag curious about army. I love how Sunshine Hobie legit asked how our day was like OMG. He actually read all the comments. He's so sweet. Who needs a boyfriend or girlfriend if you have BTS to check on you or to know what you're doing at least. There's nothing more beautiful than the relationship BTS and armies have. Don't fight me on this. And this last one says, the fact that no one today asked me about my day but Hosio did is enough to make me feel loved. I don't know what this is about. I was really having a bad day. Hobie made it better. I am working as a nurse. Nurse. Later, my shift starts 7 p.m., so wish me luck, Opa. All right, so like, like this, like something I just wanna talk about is, is like, first off, like, kudos to J-Hope and kudos like to BTS. Like, I feel like they're really like good down-to-earth guys. Um, trying to learn more and understand it. But like, I'm all about like, you know, we, we need to balance like the negativity with the positivity. And there's such little things that all of us can do to, you know, send out this like positive message or just vibe in the air. So it's awesome that somebody like J-Hope can do that with just a single tweet. Like, think about that. Like, think about that for a second. Just a single tweet made somebody's day. Like that's absolutely phenomenal. And I want you guys to just start thinking about that and seeing or asking yourself, like what can you do to make somebody else's day? So many of us get caught up in this thought trap of this person or that person completely ruined my day, right? Maybe someone cut us off on the freeway or somebody said something to us, or maybe we got a crappy email at work or a call or a text or something. How many times do we say that ruined my day, right? Well, if it was that easy to ruin somebody's day, wouldn't it be just as easy to make somebody's day? And that's why I wanted to make a video about this tweet from J-Hope showing that you can make somebody's day as well. Like, okay, just for example, for example, something that I like to do, something that I have fun with, is whenever I go to the DMV, like the DMV is just a place of misery, right? And every time I go into the DMV, like I, I, know, I know a lot of the employees there aren't happy to be there either. No more happy than I am to wait around all day for whatever it is. So like I have a goal every time I go in there to try to make the DMV person smile or laugh, right? 
I, I have like a 93% success rate on this, right? But like, it's just little simple things. Like think about what you could do today or even tomorrow. Like it's a good daily practice to see what can you do once a day to make somebody else smile, right? Like think about that just for, uh, for a second. Like negativity, spreads, right? Like if I have a bad day, it's easy for me to snap at somebody else, make their day bad, then they can snap at somebody, make their day bad. Why don't we try to reverse that thing, right? And say something kind or nice or check in on somebody, do something nice and maybe that'll encourage them to do something nice as well. You see what I'm saying? So anyways, like I'm gonna learn more about BTS and K-pop in general, like I am just, I'm fascinated by this like worldwide phenomenon. So if you guys wanna educate me or send me some video links or articles or whatever, help me, help me out, help me to learn. But it's absolutely amazing what BTS and J-Hope are doing, just impacting people's lives on a day-to-day -day basis. See what you can do as well today, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And in case you missed it, all of you wonderful patrons out there, make sure you go check the Patreon page. I just posted the answers for the last Q&A, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.